Okay, here we go. First one. This is my maiden voyage <laughs> for the turtle pops. Have you ever made them the old way? I have never seen a turtle pop in my life. How do you know it's right or wrong? I'm just gonna follow my instincts. Oh, huh, that actually worked pretty well. That seems to be okay. That might be too much caramel. Hey, Steve, can you come here a sec? Yeah, yeah, try not to have some oh, yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of caramel on that one. <laughs> Somebody is going to like it's that one. It's a turtle pop on a puddle. Uh -huh. Turtle pop on a puddle. Don't worry. We'll call it a turtle on a pond. Hmm. Or a pool. Pond, pool. Pond's good for you. So for the people watching, if you want to see the old way of doing it, I already have a video up online, which I can link below. But this, hopefully, should be a faster way of doing it. I think it should be. I think the old way, they left. we left the sticks right in there, right? Yes. Yeah. And it, it might be a little hard to do without them falling over. Because they used to have to use like some kind of grid that they would put them in to keep all the sticks staying straight up. Gotcha. And they only had one of them, so you could only make like 24 at a time, I think. Oh, okay. So that was kind of a barrier. But hopefully, this new way of doing it where you take the stick out, you should be able to do a lot more at a time. Steve, how long have the turtle pops been around? How long? Yeah. Oh, only a couple summers. That's it? Yeah, you just kind of make them on and off. Whose idea was it? No. It was that summer that I, I thought of a whole bunch of things when I was running around the track. Oh, yeah. I came up with like eight Isn't things. that every summer? Every summer I run around the track, but I don't come up with eight things all in one. Oh. That was my best summer ever. It was the summer of Terry? Yeah, summer of much. ideas. Because <laughs> the other one we did was, um, we did that with chocolate and sea salt. Mm. And we also did one with um, yeah, graham crackers. I'm not done yet. You what? I run all the crap. I'm not done yet. <laughs> you come up with some good ideas too, just sitting there observing. You just sit there and then you just fly out of your mouth. We do. Like, hey, Dave's your clerk. Why not just put blobs of peanut butter on it? It's like, Brad! Why did you say or, that 10 years ago? Or, <laughs> turtle pops on a puddle. Turtle pops on a puddle. I've got a couple a over hat. here. Yeah. A little hat and eyes. And a cane. And a, cane? Yeah, yeah, make sure it's yeah. a top hat. Right, well, yeah, that goes without oh, saying. My baby. And um, oh, my a cane and then little buttons. So, this seems to be working nicely. Kind of like a marshmallow kebab. Yeah. I know this isn't technically cleaning up or anything because that's I know people said they really want to see recently uh, but people also really want to know what happens at the end of a chocolate bowl. So you guys just chop it up. And then we have to eat it all. Oh darn. That's probably the worst part, huh? That's what everybody's probably hoping, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you maybe have to eat it all when you're done. <laughs> How does Steve stay so fit? Oh. I eat my chocolate. <laughs> eat your chocolate every day.
was our secret. Everybody step up their own puddle. That's it. That's how you chop up a puddle. That's... <laughs> and then are you using the same chocolate? Yeah. You just put uh, new warm water in yep, under the double put boiler. some hot water underneath it a few minutes ago. And now, so you can see it's melting right up. Yeah. Some pretty high tech equipment you got here. Yeah, I know. Not just anyone can do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> so people always ask us, I don't think we're ever going to stop getting this question, but how, yeah. how would you advise someone who wants to temper chocolate at home? I would use just a little double boiler, melt it down gently, and then um, use a little thermometer and cool it down to about 82, 81, 82 degrees. Then use a, maybe you could use a fork to dip things into it mm -hmm. with. Unless you want to get your hands all dirty. You're going to have occasionally. to have some kind of wax paper or something like wax paper to mm -hmm. put things on as you dip them. That's all. Just, uh, but when you're melting the chocolate, just like I've said probably many times, it's, you're melting the chocolate down, do it gently, and then when it's halfway melted, turn the heat off and just keep stirring it until mm -hmm. it's all melted, and then take it and take it out of the water, the double boiler, and let it cool down until you want it to get to be about 82 degrees and then use it. There you go. That's it. Now you know everything you need to know about you, chocolate. Yeah, then you'll be a confectioner. Yeah. And uh, we have our thermometer gun linked in the description below of, of every one of our videos. If you go down to the bottom of the video, there's a link to the thermometer that we use. So you can go just like ours. I think they're like 11 <laughs> bucks or something. Yeah, it's, it's not that much money and yeah. they're very, very accurate. Yeah. yeah. You're supposed to hold it... Um, foot and a half away from the chocolate if you want to get an accurate reading for all for all you people at home. Right. Thirteen inches, sorry. Fourteen. That's a that's a foot and a half, you right? Two times? <laughs> Fourteen inches, that's a foot and a half. <laughs> Depends how big your foot is. Sixteen. Sixteen okay, sixteen inches. Sixteen inches. <laughs> <laughs> Not 14 inches. No. Oh. Hey, look at that. All melted up already. Yeah. Now if I want to I wanna use this right away, it's 93 now. I'll take it out of the water and let it cool down a little bit. So is it cooling down quickly enough? That's why you're taking it out? Yeah, I, want it, I don't want it to get too warm. Yeah, then you can't work with it. Yeah, because I want to use it pretty quick. Yeah. So people always ask why why put it on the table, why not just take it out of here? Well, this way I can control the temperature so it's near what I need. And yeah. then when I put it on the table, then I can control the chocolate better. Yeah. Or for whatever, if I'm going to fill molds or cover things or just more control. Yeah, because basically if, if you had all of this tempered to the exact temperature you need, you wouldn't be able to get through everything quick yeah, enough. Yeah, because I don't want to, I personally don't want to dip things in with a fork. Yeah. I, I'm used to using my hands, that's the way I was trained. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to me. Yeah, and also, well, like I was saying, like if this was just tempered to the exact temperature you need, it wouldn't stay that for very long. Right. But it's easier to keep it warmer and then cool down on the table. Right. Little right. by little. So you can work longer. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's it. It's 93. 92. Are you trying to get it down to 82? Yeah, I'll get it to uh, down to 85 or so and then put it back into the water and the water will keep it uh, longer that way. So the first step is reshaping them? Yeah, this one doesn't need much. As long as they're roughly square -ish, circular ish, yep. something mm. or other. And then this is chocolate's tempered right now at this temperature. I can use it. It's funny, we just talked about using a puddle and then we're not using a puddle. 
<laughs> well, because of these. Yeah, yeah. You know, I thought I'd, thought I'd try. This is the first time I'm trying it this way. Yeah. Because of these things. I just thought it was, it was ironic. It's yeah. Hard. But, you know, it's yeah. not perfect for every application. Right. Everyone's different. Yeah. People can do it differently if they want to. Yep. Do what you want. Curl that up a little bit. Okay. That seems to be quicker, huh? Yeah. chocolate will just keep it in there keep the stick in there I mean yeah yeah that'll just stay How neat is that? <laughs> Pretty neat. How sweet is that? You were saying earlier that like chocolate was it chocolate fell off in there or something? Oh yeah, it pulled it out. Oh, yeah. Thirty minutes, wow. Thirty minutes. You're gonna get water again. Just kidding. No, no. You gotta behave now. Yeah. You can say whatever you want, the sound's not on. Is the sound on? The sound's on, I'm just not using it. Yeah, so. Say whatever you want. Watch what you say about me. I was right. just gonna say, let's just talk smack about Craig. He's finally Ooh. gone. God, what a pita, huh? <laughs> what a diva. All about me. These are bulky. Ooh. Oh, that's the way it's gonna be. Yeah. Did you have to break some pieces off? No, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna work. Can't give up. <laughs> Can't give up. Keep trying. <laughs> Even when it seems like it's not gonna work, it'll make it fit. I learned a lot of perseverance here at Hercules. Then it like, it's like you're tying it. I <laughs> tying it, choking can I, it. Can I take this? No. Can I take it now? Sure. Thank you. Oh well, now. And yeah, so nicely. Man, Dad went crazy here. <laughs> There's a lot of chocolate in. There's just some of them are like smaller, and some of them are just like. Yeah, some of them the caramel really spread out, and even when Dad tried to reshape it. What a nut. Ugh. Thought it was in there and then... Nope. You gotta twist it in the bag. There we go. 
Karen already cut some of these pieces up. Karen, did you want to tie it for for the kids at home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's your favorite thing, huh? Whoa. <laughs> These are your scissors. Put some gloves on. You're doing blue? Blue and white. Yeah. Right? Blue and white is right. It's better than Kara blue and black. Gets done with it. <laughs> Watch really? out. Really? Oh, it takes me a while to cut it, sorry. Oh. In slow motion. Don't lose the end. <laughs> okay. Do this and this. Cut it. Cut it. Then. Now, like this. Plus, my finger's getting all in the way. <laughs> There's right? no good way to shoot this. No. <laughs> like that. But how? Can you Ooh. say it? Say it, Karen. And I tie it. I double knot it. And tie it. How did it suck Oh, I think I broke a blood vessel. <laughs> See, where's the... Put your gloveys. Tie it like you're choking somebody. Karen's a real pro though. Oh, it's getting lost in there. Is that, is that tight enough? No. Maybe? You can choke anybody with that. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> fresh. Keep it fresh like you're choking someone. Twice. You gotta really feel it in your hands. Yeah. It goes all down your arm. There you go. And <laughs> done. Isn't it pretty? Yep. You don't Here's need some more. They didn't need tags put on them, yeah. but we, we don't, don't have, have them. Well, this over there. is what they'll look like. They have to be. And mom can print out more. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, somebody recently said that we should do uh, sliced bread shaped. Labels for the peanut butter and jelly. The and candy. candy. Yeah, and I was like, that's a nice thought, but then I think they don't know that we have to actually cut each one out. Yeah. Who yeah. <laughs> wants to do that? Yeah, cool, because I think they were thinking, oh, we'll just order it from a company. Well, no, like you that. probably could. That's yeah. called die cut, but yeah. cha ching, the price just went up. Yeah, exactly. And I do try to, you know, the, when we put stuff out like this, you know, just make peanut butter jelly, mm -hmm. ribbon candy, just make stuff up. We don't have to charge a premium price because we don't have to, if like if we ordered them from s those labels from somewhere, we'd have to get yeah. several thousand yeah. in that cost. That, yeah, that's I think what they were thinking because they're used yeah. to big companies. Right. We're a wee little company. We do <laughs> things on the fly, mm -hmm. but hopefully without flies. Yeah, hopefully. That's our goal anyways. <laughs> This is lined up kind of weird, so I have to keep looking at the back, yeah. I might change it, but I was, I was trying to come up with a color that will, nice sun color that will go well with several other colors, like blue and green and pink. I don't know how I'll go with purple. Green and purple? Not sure about that. Nope, that one didn't work out. Because mm. these originally were red, and mm. I don't know, red, we're kind of over red in the summer between Valentine's and Christmas. Yeah. But that's not turtles a Christmas are, green. Turtles are like a green color, right? Sure. Yeah, I'm sure people are gonna look at the turtle pops and think of a turtle in the yeah. shell because it's almost the same thing. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Right, I know you were. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? Going this way. Oh, See, wow. it's not hard. <laughs> That looks good. <laughs> you, you really didn't think I could curl? I don't know. I don't know what you do out here. I don't know what you do. I mean, it do. seems like a lot of you guys have like specialties, you know? Like Karen does the baskets, Max does I've the I've made creams. baskets. Yeah. Well, <laughs> again. Craig, I, you don't believe in me. <laughs> I just don't know what you guys do. <laughs> I mean, I'm only here like 5% of the time. 
I probably made like five gift baskets, mm -hmm. maybe. No one really orders them currently anyway. Mm -hmm. That was more Christmas time. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not here almost ever just because I can only post two videos a week, so. Oh, that's because you're lazy, right? Yeah, yeah. It's because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you would post a video every day if you could. Yeah, I, that's what I was doing, especially if people have been around since the beginning, they probably remember that first month where I posted every day. And then that was a little unsustainable, so I did like every other day. And I did that for a long time until mom was like, Craig, please, for the love of God, stop. Wouldn't it be cool if you could curl your hair like that? Yeah, just, just with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> there, I'm ready for my wedding. All right, so here's the cross section and the taste test. I'm not going for the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> it might be like that's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm just going to take a big old bite. Uh, yeah. Mm. Dude. <laughs> Is it a good combo? You're working through it and trying to get like each layer. Yeah. And it's probably also not an easy thing to chew quickly. <laughs> that, that's one of the best things that's ever been in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Needs a moment. You, cut, cut. I need a moment. <laughs> no review or anything, just straight back to the second one. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you give a review? You know, the taste is what you expect. Chocolate nuts and, and caramel. Um, and marshmallow. Well, the marshmallow <laughs> kind of gets washed away a little bit, oh, yeah. but. So what, but is there it's just fun to eat. The most? It's like, no, it kind of comes in waves. Mm. Like, yeah. I'm just watching you mm -hmm. eat it. <laughs> it's just such a good combination. Like you said, it kind of, it's like you get different parts at different times. <clears throat> and then it's the like, aftertaste, it all comes together a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like fun to eat. Like, <laughs> You get like the creaminess from the chocolate, a little crunch from the nut. Working through the caramel to get to the marshmallow, it's like, wow. it's it's wow. nice. I like mouth feels. Yeah. Wow. It's fun to eat. I'm just gonna keep eating those. <laughs> <laughs> I saved the other half in case anybody else wants it. But I think Joe might take no. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I have to. <laughs> Getting a couple to bring home. Man, so good. Yeah, I might, have, I, might, I might take a couple home if there's any left. Sam, are you, you going to tell them? anyone that you're bringing them home, or it's going to be your little secret? I'll, I'll have it a secret for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> secret from the kids, you mean? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for me. It's just for Daddy. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Nothing! Go away! <laughs> you won't like it. Why is the door locked? <laughs> Dad, what are you doing in the bathroom? <laughs> you're crunching! <laughs> uh, Alright, good work, guys. <laughs> you too, Greg. <laughs>